What do you think you're going to feed up there? Eh? You stay up on your cousin, you need it. To see you. No, can it be? It's been ages since anybody's seen that beggar. He says he's your husband. Oh, is he Italian? Italian? Uh huh. Oh, I think bite of anything. Big lad with a hole in his teeth. Oh my God, it is my husband. I don't want to take over with you. Brickwork. Hello, Marjorie. When did you get back? I've been back in the UK a couple of weeks now. I came up here last night. Now, what's our list of what you got to Italy? Who told you that? The band told us that. You've seen Rod? Yes, I've seen Rod. Went to his school. You don't mind, do you? I'm his father, you know. If you'd read the correspondence from the separation orders, you'd know you're not allowed access to him. What correspondence? You were sent copies of everything. I've been moving around a bit, you know. Don't tell me. That's one of the reasons you're not fit to see him. Abandonment, me solicitor. Oh, I don't even care what your solicitor calls. I'm not bothered with the legalese. I'm bothered with my kid, right? And if you take him off to Italy, I'm never going to see him again, am I? So what will be different? What be, I'll tell you what will be different. The kid will be different, won't he? Because he's English, man. He was born here. His roots are here. All his friends are here. You know, how's he going to turn up being brought up in bleed? Where is it? Milano. <laughs> Milano. I suppose that's Italian for Milan, is it? You're talking a language already. Look. He'll turn out a lot better there than he will living here. And who's this Sandro Gadji? He's my boyfriend, and as soon as the divorce is final, he'll be my husband. Well, what sort of bloke is he? Well, he's not you, are, so there's a marked improvement. Well, a waiter, is he? How do you know that? <laughs> well, he stands to reason, doesn't it? I mean, any whopper chinky that arrives on teens says he's bound to be a waiter. I mean, he didn't come up here to build ships, you know. He'll be opening his own trattoria in due course. He's dad sick at the moment, and that's why Sandro's going back to help him with the business. <laughs> Yeah, so, so every time I want to see me kid, I've got to hop on a dear flight to Milano, have I? Eh? I told you you don't have access. I can get it, can't I? I'm his legal dad, are you know. Are you going to take me to court, are you, Oz? I would love that. I'd love my day in the dock telling a few long overdue home truths. Oh, man, you haven't got a leg to stand on. You've been out of his life for three years. I've, been, I've had to be working abroad, man, haven't I? I had to go to Deutschland and then the Falklands. The Falklands, don't tell me that wouldn't have an emotional sway with the courts of this country. You weren't there. During the hostility. That was their journey aftermath. Oh. And one of the things that got us through was the thought of putting a few quid away for the Bairns future, man. Well, we saw precious little of it. But and I then was... you went traipsing around America. That must was... have made a hole in it. I, I mean, those boots oh, can't have sh Shut up, man, Marjorie, will you? Shut up. Look, man, we can stand here all you want while blowing the face, right? It's gonna do no good. Because we're never gonna agree on nothing. We never could, we never will, right? But I don't care what you think, right? I just care about me, Ben. I want to hear it from him. All right? Well, you're not going to, Art. You're not seeing him, and that's that. Back with the boys.